Welcome to Odoo Essentials. In this lesson, we're going to start using the CRM app. This acronym stands for Customer Relationship Management, and customer relationships are exactly what your sales team would like to optimize. As your company grows, it becomes more and more difficult to keep track of everything that needs to be done and know exactly where you're at with each customer. Have you ever found yourself going from desk to desk just to stay up to date with your sales team? Well, you no longer have to do that. From now on, you can neatly organize your opportunities in your CRM in pipeline. As a sales team manager, it's best to identify the stages that are required to complete a deal and also define what needs to be done in each stage. This way, your sales team knows exactly what they need to do in each stage of the pipeline and can efficiently pave the way for the next step, continuously moving the customer forward until the deal is won. This great tool also makes for easy and efficient weekly reviews done by the sales manager with the team, allowing for everyone to be sure that the pipeline keeps flowing flawlessly. So let's dive into this now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into my CRM application. Okay, when I enter the CRM app, the first thing I'm going to see are all of my opportunities. And that's because by default, I have this filter, my pipeline. All right, so if I want to see all of the other opportunities, I can simply remove this. However, if this is still there, and let's imagine I don't have any opportunities, I will only see some empty columns. All right, um, so now I'm going to create a, a new opportunity because I just got off the phone with a customer who's interested in purchasing some products from me. And in fact, they're interested in purchasing 200 lamps. So that is what I will uh, title the opportunity. I'm going to add the customer and say that the expected revenue is 2,000 euros for the lamps, which is pretty great. So I'm going to mark this as a high priority and add. All right, since I was on the phone with them, I know that I have properly qualified this opportunity and I have all of the information that I need. So I'm going to move it from the new stage to qualified. But before I do that, I want to point something out. Right here at the top, we see this number. This will be our total expected revenue for all of the opportunities within the column. All right, so of course, when I move this opportunity to qualified, the 82,000 will go down to 80,000. All right, and that 2,000 of expected revenue will be added to the total for the qualified stage. So I'm going to go ahead, drag and drop. We see that change immediately. All right, here's my opportunity. So now let's imagine that I went ahead and created a quotation and sent it to the customer. So I can do that from the opportunity page here, create a new quotation. But let's imagine that I went ahead and did it. So the customer has an offer in their hands. They're considering something. So I'm going to go ahead and move this from the qualify stage to proposition. All right, now I'm going to enter the opportunity and edit because the customer got back to me and they said, yeah, the offer for 200 lamps looks pretty good, but actually we need a new offer for 400 lamps instead of the 200. So I'm simply going to edit it from the opportunity that already exists, 400 lamps, and I'm going to say the expected revenue is double what it was before. So that's great for me. All right, and of course I have some other fields such as my um, customer and their contact information. I can also add an expected closing date, okay? Um, automatically I'm added as the salesperson because I was the one who created the opportunity. Um, but let's imagine that um, this opportunity has been in discussion for quite a while and I'm about to leave on an extended vacation so I need to give it to one of my colleagues. So I can edit that here, I can choose someone else, all right? And by uh, default or automatically as well, my sales team is Europe because that's the team that I'm a part of. So if I was not a part of a specific team, this field would be empty. All right, I have the priority that I already set and I'm also gonna add some tags. So I would like to specify that they're purchasing a product rather than a service. And I also want to mark um, how I'm communicating with them. So I want to create a tag for phone. It doesn't exist yet, so I'm gonna create one on the fly by clicking on this button. Okay, and if I click on this new tag that I just created, by default, um, it will be hidden in the Kanban view, but as soon as I select a color for this tag, um, this will be deselected, all right? Um, and I'm gonna choose green because I think that I will really notice the green color and um, I'll rem it will be a good reminder to myself to say, hey, call them, don't just email them, all right? So I'm gonna save this. 
But you know, this is a second proposition, and um, I want that to be clearly defined when I'm looking at my pipeline. All right, so right now it's just in the proposition stage, but I, when I go to my pipeline, I want to see that it's not just any proposition. You know, it's specifically the second proposition. So I'm going to add a column. And of course, I'm going to call it second proposition, okay? I'm going to move it to before one and after proposition. And I'm going to edit the stage, okay? So I'm going to keep my title, but I want to add a specific sales team. So I want to say that the only team that needs to see this column is the European sales team, okay? So they're the only one who will actually use the second proposition column. For my other teams, they don't mind to have just the one proposition column. Um, and to avoid any confusion, I don't even want them to see that this column exists. Okay, and I'm also going to change the probability automatically. Now, um, for each stage, uh, I, of course, have set um, a specific probability. So for the proposition stage, as you saw, that was set to 70%. So for the second proposition, we're going to change it to 80 and save. All right, so now I'm going to move this opportunity that I edited to the second proposition stage. Of course, I see my total expected revenue for the column. All right, I will enter the opportunity and automatically that uh, probability change. All right, so now um, the customer has looked at the opportunity and they can either decide um, that no, I don't want to go with it, or yes, let's go ahead, let's um, make the invoice. I'm ready to purchase these products. So if they say no, I will mark as lost. Now I need to provide a last reason and I can do that based on reasons people have provided in the past or reasons that are already in my system or I can create an edit um, so I can add a new one if it's kind of a special situation. Now uh, providing a last reason is a really great way to keep track of what's happening with your opportunities when they aren't one and this can help you um, improve your business and um, it can be a really great uh, method for your salespeople as well to see why they are losing seeing opportunities and to prevent it from happening in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this though, because yes, they would like to um, continue with this. So I won the opportunity and it changes to 100% here, of course, and the stage automatically changes to one as well. So I don't need to manually drag and drop it to the one stage. And I see this green bullet one on the right. All right, so now we're gonna look at something else. We're gonna go to our reporting tab and pipeline. We're gonna check out our pipeline analysis. So this is a really great way um, to analyze all of your data. In this case, um, I am looking at my opportunities that were created in the last 365 days. Um, so here I'm on my dashboard view. Um, so I can see a ton of information already. All right, and I can um, look at information as well using other views. So I can use the pivot view, uh, the graph view, or even um, the cohort view. All right, but I'm going to stick to the dashboard view because I can see a lot of data right here right away. All right, so um, something that's really cool here as well, um, if I'm looking for some specific data, I can edit the measures, okay? So I can say I would like to look at this based on um, probability or prorated revenue, um, expected revenue, and more. All right, so um, I want to say that based on my previous opportunities, I would like to check the probability of closing um, a deal with someone from a specific city. So I have my measure probability and I'm also gonna change how I group the information. So I'm gonna remove what's already selected. Okay, and I'm going to add city. Okay, so here I see all of the cities, all of the people from different cities that I've sold to. Um, so Chicago, for example, my probability is 100%. Um, I also see for um, Brussels, it's 35%, which is not as good. Uh, Melbourne, 10%. All right, so I can see that information super easily right here. Um, but perhaps I would like to see it in a different view. I can change my graphs here, super, super, super easy. Um, and I can also change how I'm grouping the information. So um, if you need to see um, by city and by another factor as well, you can add that right here, okay? 
and that changes the information. Um, so this is a really great way um, to review what you've already done. Um, this is great to keep tabs on your team. Um, so for your team members, for you, um, for your managers as well. Um, so that's a really nice feature that you should definitely take advantage of. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.